Hello, and congratulations on being accepted to Santa Clara University. And thank you for showing an interest in the communication department. My name is Mike Whale, and I'm the chair of the department. And we have about a 40 minute video presentation here from faculty and students to give you an overview of who we are and what we do at Santa Clara. The first thing you'll hear is a 10 minute slide PowerPoint presentation voiced by Professor Chad Raphael to give you a strong overview of everything that we do. And then I'll come back after that with about four or five of our students to answer frequently asked questions during our usual preview day. Enjoy the slideshow. Hello, my name is Chad Raphael and I'm a professor and former chair of the communication department. Thank you so much for your interest in communication at Santa Clara. I'm really excited for everybody to return to campus and for you to join us in the fall because we have a lot of cool stuff to do together. Let me tell you a little bit about our department, what we study here. We're a comprehensive communication department which means we study all areas of our field, which means you can too. Um, in our introductory courses, you might get exposed to interpersonal communication, which is um, the study of communication in small groups and relationships. Also media studies, public speaking, very valuable skill. I'm trying to do it right now. Technology and communication with a special focus on social media. Also um, uh, journalism, uh, because those are very valuable skills to have, being able to uh, interview, report, write it up clearly for a non-expert audience, keeping your opinion out of it. That's something you'll do in a lot of different fields. And also digital filmmaking. Um, everybody should be able to come out of our program being able to produce a, a competent short film uh, for whatever purpose they may have, instructional, fiction, what have you. And then our advanced uh, level, Students can study um, uh, in greater depth all of the issues that are on this slide here. How do we teach in our department? We're a little bit different from some other departments in that we really try to mix theory and practice. In a lot of programs, they separate folks pretty early on. They send the people who wanna study communication and media in one track, and then they um, put people who want to actually produce journalism or film or public relations or what have you into a different track. We don't do that. We think it's really valuable for people who want to study the media to have some experience making it. And we think that for people who want to make media, you're going to do a much better job of that if you're aware of the theory and research that have informed the professionals who are doing it today. So we want you to be a smart media maker and a media savvy uh, student of media. Almost all of our classes are taught by full-time faculty. The only ones that aren't are generally taught by specialists and professionals in their field like a sports journalist, for example, might teach a sports journalism class. We teach in small classes, um, 18 to 35 students, the average is 24. And that allows us to really um, engage in active learning with you so that you're not gonna have somebody lecturing at you for an hour straight. You're, instead, you're gonna hear a, a brief introduction set up by a professor, usually to set up an exercise in which you might be analyzing examples of media, or producing your own communication examples in class, it's gonna be very active. Um, all of our students who are in media production classes have 24 seven access to our equipment. So if inspiration strikes you at three in the morning and you need to go edit your film, you can do that. We also have a really great internship network. Here in the San Francisco Bay, Silicon Valley area where we're located, there's an extraordinary array. It's a very media rich region. Lots of tech companies as well. So uh, those are possibilities. Lots of our students intern there. And there's also a really vibrant nonprofit community here, which is always looking for interns and giving them great experience. We also have a great alumni network. A lot of our graduates have remained here in the Bay Area and they want to um, hire you as interns and some of those internships turn into jobs. We know that there's a lot that you have to learn uh, that you can't learn as well in a classroom. So we have a lot of student media opportunities for you as well. The campus newspaper, the Santa Clara, has won numerous pacemaker awards. Those are um, national awards for college newspapers. Uh, the yearbook is a wonderful opportunity to practice your graphic design uh, and writing skills, uh, photography. Uh, at a time when a lot of universities have sold their radio station licenses and gone exclusively online, we've retained ours. So uh, KSCU-FM, our radio station broadcasts to the surrounding community, it's got a nice listenership. It also broadcasts online. Uh, for students who are interested in strategic communication, we have a chapter of the Public Relations Student Society of America, which is very active at 
um, helping uh, to bring in speakers and networking with people in the field. And we have a communication honor society. Those are some of our top students who organize um, career panels, who uh, plan events and uh, build community uh, within our department. I'll tell you a little bit about what some of our graduates do um, and therefore also kind of what they studied here. Uh, let's start with strategic communication, public relations, corporate communication, campaigns, that's all strategic comm. Uh, Sherbeam, who graduated in 1991, went on to found her own uh, strategic comm uh, company, Anda Communications. Uh, she's especially committed to sustainability issues, and so um, that was what she specialized in, was helping companies to communicate about their, their sustainability programs. Daniela, in the middle, rocketed to the top of her field. It's amazing. She uh, is head of communications at Cloudflare, which is like the most important internet company that you've probably never heard of. Uh, they handle 10% of internet requests. They do an enormous um, traffic uh, on the internet. Uh, huge cloud computing company. And they recently won a PR Week award for a best in-house uh, PR group. So uh, she's doing really great. Salma Ferdowsi is a nice example of somebody who has linked nonprofit and for-profit work. Uh, she works at salesforce.org, which is the nonprofit arm of salesforce.com here in Silicon Valley. And she focuses on helping nonprofit organizations to use their cloud computing software to raise funds and communicate with their constituencies. Many of our graduates have gone on to careers in journalism. Melissa Segura, for example, <clears throat> is an investigative reporter who worked for over a decade at Sports Illustrated and then shifted over to BuzzFeed where she won a George Polk Award. It's one of the most prestigious awards in journalism for an investigative series in which she um, helped free a number of innocent uh, men from uh, uh, prison who had been framed by the same Chicago police detective for murder. Tatiana Sanchez and Stephen Hobbs are Pulitzer Prize winners. Uh, Tatiana for a, a story on the ghost fire in Oakland several years ago, which exposed how um, artists and other low income people were living in uh, substandard and unsafe conditions. Uh, she's been with the San Francisco Chronicle and the San Jose Mercury News. Stephen Hobbs recently won a Pulitzer as part of a group that covered the Parkland, Florida school shootings. Uh, he did uh, some great work uh, on covering that and, and showing uh, how the police and, and school system responded and could have been better prepared. We also have a number of uh, folks who go on to work in entertainment. Uh, Bly Faust and Art Schmidt are our, uh, Academy Award winners. Bly won for Spotlight, uh, the film that uh, focused on the Catholic Church uh, uh, sex abuse scandals. Uh, Art Schmidt is a film editor uh, who's won two Academy Awards for his work on Forrest Gump and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And our students go down and meet folks like this um, when they do a shadowing tour every spring. Uh, they go down for a week during spring break to Hollywood. Um, they meet with executives. They meet with people on the creative side down there. Uh, they meet with our alumni and they get some great career mentoring advice. Vanessa Delgado is an, uh, one person who did that. And uh, after she graduated, she ended up going down to LA and is now an editor on the TV show Grey's Anatomy. Some of our graduates follow in our footsteps. They go into academia. Jesse Baldwin Philippi uh, published, she co-published three academic journal articles with her professors here before she even graduated. And that helped her to get into the graduate program at Northwestern University. It's one of the top communication programs in the country. Uh, she's now an associate professor at Fordham University. That's her book from Oxford University Press in the middle there. Michael Broghammer is a more recent graduate. Uh, he also did multiple research and assistantships with professors in English and communication. He was a double major. Uh, he applied to and got into three of the top uh, communication programs uh, for his PhD and chose to go to Penn State where he's focusing on political communication. But there are lots of other careers that people go into communication from. Uh, and use their communication skills in. Alan Mirza is a nice example. Um, he had a real passion for um, immigration issues. Uh, he took a course on communication law and a number of other pre-law courses that set him on the course to law school. He became a policy advocate, a human rights advocate for a group called Asylum Access. He's also a legal specialist at Google and uh, at Twitter as well, uh, working in policy for Twitter now. Deja Thomas was a double major in communication and environmental studies. She also did a number of research uh, assistantships on environmental justice issues with her professors here. 
She also won a Global Social Benefit Fellowship from our Miller Center uh, for Social Entrepreneurship here at Santa Clara, which allowed her to go to Uganda and study and uh, produce um, valuable materials for a, a social enterprise there. She's now doing her master's in urban planning at UCLA. Uh, and she's also interning at the LA Food Policy Council, helping to improve low-income people's access to food there. Kara Wee is another environmental studies and comm double major. Uh, she decided to stick around here at Santa Clara. She became our sustainability manager and she helps the university to become a zero waste carbon neutral campus. I could go on and on about lots of other folks, but I won't. Uh, folks who are working for media companies like CNN or uh, who are winning Emmys um, as sports anchors and reporters or working for fun companies like Pixar or the San Francisco Giants or working in the tech, um, you know, for big name tech companies like Facebook, Microsoft, Cisco, uh, or the venture capital firm Sequoia Capital. Um, but I'd much rather uh, hear your questions. So please feel free to go to our website, learn more about us. And if you have questions about us that we can answer, feel free to uh, send them to us at communication at scu.edu. We'd love to hear from you and love to be in touch. Take care, good luck with your decision, uh, stay safe, be well and I hope to see you in the fall. Uh, I'll say it again. Uh, thanks, Chad, I appreciate that. Hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of an overview of the program. And I'm now here with five of our current students and each one of them has done the program a little bit differently so they can give you insights specifically into how they did it and what they liked about the program. Uh, Connor, could you introduce yourself and tell us what it was like to be a comm student? Yeah, so my name is Connor and I'm a graduating senior this year, I'm an English communications double major and I'm a classical studies minor. And so in going about comm, I'm really one of those like general comm majors where I just kind of pick and chose any of the classes that I was really interested in. Because one of the things about comm, unlike other majors, is you really have a lot of room to explore what you're interested in because we have things from like film and journalism all the way to like thinking about public health campaigns and even talking about like global communication. So I really loved that I could go and see like any of the classes that were interesting and I could just take them and I didn't have to go outside the major to do that. I also think it's really great as a going around the comm major like that, that you get exposed to a lot of new ideas that you normally wouldn't think about. And you can also think about things that occur in your everyday with more depth and with greater perspective because you get exposed to all these new ideas. Also, in doing that, it's really nice that you get to know a lot of people because obviously everyone's doing like a different path within the comm major. And so if you're exploring like whatever you're interested in, like I am, you encounter a lot of people who have really different perspectives and really different passions. So it's really, I guess, kind of inspiring to see that. Was there, and, Connor, was there a particular class that maybe stood out to you that you took? I actually really loved my senior thesis class, which focused on kind of like globalization and new media, because I felt it was really, I guess, kind of cumulative of a lot of the experiences with classes that I had, where it talked not only about like the theory behind some of how we communicate, but also thinking about how those communication theories actually play out with real people and how they talk about their own cultures or how other people perceive those cultures and then also thinking about how our western perspective also views all these ideas and views the rest of the world so for me that was really enlightening and really interesting to see how relevant some of these theories stay and how we subconsciously and consciously choose to adhere to them great thank you i appreciate that Hey, Kyle, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, um, my name is Kyle De La Fuente. I'm a junior communication major here at Santa Clara. Um, I'm from the Seattle area originally, and my emphasis within comm is film. Um, I've wanted to go into film since a young age, and so coming to Santa Clara, I knew I wanted to be involved in that. Um, and so I declared a comm major, uh, and since then have been taking different film classes. Um, because I'm a film major, most of my comm elective classes have been in films, uh, or have been in film. Um, and these classes range from like short fiction film production to business of media, um, studying how journalism and Hollywood works. 
Um, and then next year I'll be taking classes in cinematography and film history and screenwriting. And so um, I think that's one of the things that I love about the comm program here at Santa Clara is that there's a diverse range of classes that are offered regarding film, um, both in the theory, but also in the production of it. Um, you can really dive into both of those aspects. Um, and I really enjoyed just learning about it since it's something that I love to do and something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. What, how, have you, how have you found the facilities? Have you enjoyed using the facilities and the gear? Yeah, um, I absolutely love the gear. And uh, I come home now and realize that I want to continue filmmaking, but I have nothing as good to film with as the production equipment that we have at Santa Clara. Um, it's very, um, I want to say, like, it's very, like, things that I've never used before, even in high school, like, video production classes, um, definitely makes you feel like you're serious and you're, like, being a part of it. Great. Thank you, Carolina. I know you have a you have a little bit of film going on in what you've done, but you're also not a comm major, you're a comm minor. Yeah, um, so hi, I'm Carolina Fernandez. I'm also a graduating senior. Um, I'm actually a marketing major and I'm a communication minor, just a general communication minor. Um, and the reason I took comm was I just felt like taking um, an interpersonal relationship class, which was comm one. Um, and then I kind of just decided that I like the idea of understanding how people communicate and how people communicate in different formats. Um, and film in particular was something that I was interested in. So I took COM30 um, and I absolutely loved it. Um, it was not easy because I had no idea how to use any of the equipment, but you learn how to use it fairly quickly. Um, and um, I think the reason I kind of kept going on that path was because I really loved my lab instructor, Reese, um, and she's like been kind of the reason that I kept going um, in taking more uh, comm classes, especially the ones in film, um, and I found that that's something that I really enjoyed was storytelling through film. How do you connect uh, the business degree with the, the comm information? Why, why, why was that a, a match kind of something that interests you or how are you finding it helping you? Um, I think the reason it became interest, more interesting was because when I went into marketing, I thought there was going to be a little more um, of the creativity aspect, um, less research, which was not the case. Um, definitely do a lot more research in marketing, but um, Calm definitely helped me find that place for creativity. Um, that's something that I feel like I thrive in and I prefer that type of work environment where everything is based off an idea that you have and then you work with other people to see it come to life and that other people can see and then interpret however they think. Um, yeah. Great. Thank you. Now, Bella has just the opposite. She's actually a comm major with a business minor and specifically entrepreneurship. So, Bella, could you tell us what, why did you do comm and, and then also why did you add the business minor? Yeah, so I'm Bella. I'm a communications major and entrepreneurship minor. Um, I actually just graduated last quarter. Very surreal. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, but I originally came to Santa Clara with the communication major. Um, I was interested in comm because I loved how I could explore so many different fields within one major. Um, kind of like what Connor was saying earlier, you can do interpersonal, you can do public speaking, journalism, filmmaking, research, all within one major. And for me personally, I've never been one person to really decide on something and stick to it. So the idea of choosing a major and then sticking with that for the rest of my life made me really nervous. So with Calm, I felt that I could explore and figure out what I really wanted to narrow my interest in on. And then through my four years, once I got to senior year, I was able to narrow it down. And that was similar to entrepreneurship too. I wanted to come out of Santa Clara with some sort of knowledge um, of business because I felt like for me personally, that was important. I come from a very business oriented family where everyone sits on boards and has retail background. And as exciting as that is in a conversation, I never really could understand what it meant when they said they sat on a board. So I really wanted to take Business 70 because you learn about what the job roles are. And then I was interested in Accounting 11, not because I'm good at numbers, 
but because I knew as I got older, it would be important for me to learn what a balance statement is and what the difference is between assets, liabilities, and equities. So that's what, why I first got interested in entrepreneurship, um, just for my own benefit of knowing more about the business world. Um, but one thing that really drew me to common entrepreneurship, kind of like what I was saying earlier, is the broadness of the two. Um, with Calm, I finally realized that what I was most interested in was more of the media aspect, specifically the effects that media can have on ourselves or the world and how we decide things. It was a combination of Calm 1 and Calm 2, and that's actually what I focused my senior capstone on. Um, we, I was in the same capstone class as Connor and Lauren, and it was interesting because we all took so many different perspectives out of this one class. Um, and in entrepreneurship, I realized later down the line that I was most interested in marketing. Um, and when I combined it, when I combined my major and my minor, I took a class for entrepreneurship called Management 165, which was building a business. And I was able to use my public speaking skills, my journalism skills, and my filmmaking skills um, because we had to create a company. And with public speaking, I was able to present this company to investors and I learned specific tools for public speaking that I otherwise would probably have just turned red and sweat in front of all these investors, but I was able to get my point out. With journalism, I learned how you just need to get to the point, get everyone's attention. That's what investors want. You just need to get it out there. And with filmmaking, we actually had to create a video to show investors how our company would be used in real life. And I do not know how to use a camera, but with Calm 30, I figured it out and um, I was able to create this video and we got the grant. And then um, another business class I took was Marketing 175, which was social media marketing. And this was really cool because with marketing, it's all about research and data. And in Calm 110 and Calm 111, which are both research classes, um, I learned how to do research in a way that some business students didn't know how to do research. Like for example, with chi tests, chi square tests, um, a lot of business students had to go out on their own and figure out how to do this. But with um, Calm, I already knew how to do it. So I had an advantage to other students and was able to get my marketing out there faster than others. So it's been really cool combining the two. Well, and your, um, since you said you graduated uh, already, it means you graduated early, right? Yes, that is a great thing with the comm major. I actually work as, or I worked as a peer advisor for the comm department, and there is a handful of students with, with, the, with the comm major, you're able to pick up more. If you want to do another major or another minor, the comm major allows you to really grow as an individual and um, explore your interests because you can broaden, I don't know, different areas of your fields and take on more. Um, but yeah, I was able to graduate early and explore other things. And I actually took more classes than what I needed to to graduate. I was, I was interested in music, so I took a music class. I was interested in art, so I took an art class. So it was great that the comm major allowed me to explore what I was interested in as well. Great. And Lauren, you have a business angle to yourself too, because you, you picked up the retail um, uh, uh, management uh, uh, program. Uh, so what was, what was calm for you? What was it like? What did you like? And then why did you add the retail management program? Definitely. So hi, I'm Lauren. I am a calm major as well. Um, I graduated about um, three weeks ago and I feel so confident about how our um, school has helped us um, all find jobs during this crazy time. And I believe with the calm department, all of the um, as we mentioned, all of the types of classes that are offered, we have film, we have journalism. And I think for me, that was one of the main reasons why I picked Calm was because it is so broad. And, and I just wanted an experience that I could try a vast type of classes. And for me, this program was perfect. I also believe in looking for a job, I felt like this department and all the faculty helped me so, so much. Um, I have gotten so many contacts from all of our faculty that I've had classes with, which helps um, take that pressure off so, so much when looking for a job. And I have gotten all, um, I, I've just gotten a bunch of um, help from faculty members and I'm, I'm, yeah, super excited for what's to come, so. Well, and you just completed, you were in the internship class for a quarter or two, were you yes. not? Yes, I was. And so that class, we had um, a panel of everyone 
come in from a bunch of companies. And for me, that was a great experience um, in terms of asking people questions who are in the field. And it also helped um, hearing some advice about how to approach finding a job and that whole process. So for me, that class is one of my favorite classes at Santa Clara and was so beneficial. Great. Well, I have some frequently asked questions in my hands and I'm going to ask them and I may answer some of them, but then I also may throw it to uh, one of the students here who has a direct experience with it. And one of the questions we almost always get is, is it possible to double major in comm and another major? And the, the question there is yes, because everybody seems to be doing that. And Connor, you have like three majors slash minors or something like that, right? <laughs> I'm a double major and then I have a classical studies minor. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, and then, and then Carolina, you're a major minor with business and mm -hmm. comm. And then Bella, you're a major minor with comm and business. And Lauren, you're similar to that with, re with comm in retail management. And, and Kyle, are you picking up any other interests or, or are you just kind of going gung ho with film? I, um, I have a minor in international business as well. I think I forgot to mention that. Yep, it's okay. And so that here it goes to show you, is it possible? Yes, all five here are doing that. Okay, the next question we always get is, what are popular second majors for comm students? And one of the, my initial answers is really broad because it can be everything. Um, we have a lot of people who do poli-sci poli and uh, psychology with a double major um, or major minor with comm. But I think personally the largest one across the campus is some sort of combination that you've seen here with most of our students is uh, business and comm. And whether it's major, minor, um, double major. I will tell you that if you double major in comm and business, you're actually doing two different core curriculums because the business school has a whole separate core curriculum than the College of Arts and Sciences. So that becomes very complicated and you end up having to do a lot of extra work. So it's more common to see that to be a minor and major between comm and business. Um, One thing quickly. Yes, go ahead, Bella. Um, actually, like just to add on to what you were saying, with advising, I realize a lot of students choose, they ask me that question, should I major with comm and business? And a lot of students actually end up doing comm and then maybe two different type of business minors, like retail studies and entrepreneurship, and can actually take more classes without that benefit them without having to do the extra core curriculum. So you could do it that way too, or you could do... Um, there, the, the business school has a lot of minors that you can look into, but you could choose various business minors instead of doing a whole nother business major. And I'd also add that if you come in to the College of Arts and Sciences, trying to transfer into the business school is a very difficult thing as a major. To, um, so it's, you're much better off to keep the comm major and then do one of these various um, business minors rather than trying to actually make the move. Um, and the other thing is, is if you're deathly afraid of calculus, you wanna stay as a comm major because you'll be taking three classes in calculus in the business, which I'm sure, Carolina, you probably had to go through. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, and, uh, oh, and the, the next question I have on this list is, I'm accepted to the business school, can I double major or minor in comm? I think we've just answered that and talked a lot about that. And, um, and then um, there's a, a more specific question about kind of what jobs I'm gonna get when I graduate and, and internships and how does that help you? And I'll, I'll list off just that uh, about 75% of our majors actually do at least one internship in their, in their four years at Santa Clara. And we have a wide variety, you, you name the, the high tech company in Silicon Valley and we can do an internship with them. Google, Facebook, Cisco, Intel, Apple, et cetera. Um, but we also have a lot of nonprofit agencies. So going to the nonprofit world is something you'd like to do. We work closely with a lot of the local nonprofit groups. And we have internships at all of the sport, major sports um, companies here in the Bay Area. So the Giants, the A's, uh, used to be the Raiders, uh, now the 49ers, the Sharks, uh, and even the, um, the Earthquakes, the local soccer team. And you can also intern if you're interested in sports with our actually our own athletic department. And there's um, all sorts of PR firms that you can work with. There are film and, and uh, music and television production companies, both news organizations up here in the Bay Area. And you can do internships even remotely with Hollywood companies down in Los Angeles. 
So I'm curious to all of you, did any of you did, do internships and what were your experiences like in your internships? Yeah. Go ahead, Connor. I'll also add this is that one of the things that this might come up in another question, but one of the things a lot of comm majors do is they study abroad. And oh. particularly one of our most popular study abroad programs is going to study abroad with the Foundation of International Education in London. And that specific program is very popular because they actually pair you up with an internship in London Central. Great. And so I went on that program. And so I got to intern at this arts um, organization, a nonprofit arts organization that was actually leading in its field within London and within the actual UK itself. So you do get a lot of opportunities, not only domestically, but also internationally. For Great, thank you. Anybody else, anybody else have an internship experience you want to talk about? Um, I can talk about mine. Um, so I interned for six months with an independent production company remotely. Uh, during the school year and the production company actually hires Santa Clara interns only because she went to Santa Clara University. Is this Bly's uh, company? Yeah, this is based on media. Um, yeah, which is run by Bly Faust. Um, and well, I'm then, just going to drop in and just because I can, um, won the Oscar for producing the film Spotlight a number of years ago. Yeah. Um, and then that helped springboard me into future internships. And so then last summer, I made the move to LA and was interning at another independent production company called LD Entertainment. Um, and I did that for three months and was reading scripts in West Hollywood two days a week. Um, and then this summer I'll be interning at a talent agency, most likely if coronavirus doesn't cancel yeah, that. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Another, another thing that's closely related uh, to the internship program is a program that I run called the um, Shadowing Program. And every spring break, I take 40 to 50 students down to Los Angeles and we spend the week during uh, our spring break instead of going to Cabo and various other beaches that everybody else does, we actually network and uh, connect with all of our alumni working in the industry and people actually go, go to the places of business, we have lunch with them, we have dinner with them and it sets up a, a wonderful way of networking that helps you connect to Santa Clara alumni who then when you want to go into the film or television industry in LA, you already have names and you can call these people up and uh, Bly Faust the, the per, and also Nathan, the person who runs the internship that Kyle had done, both uh, help in that program all the time. And in that program, you get to, you get to go to some of the major studios, uh, some, you meet with uh, Emmy and Oscar winning producers and directors, uh, and you meet with our alumni who graduated last year and are telling you, okay, hold on, this is where you want to go to live. This is what you want to do. Um, I think we're, we're kind of at our time. And I want to thank all of the students here for taking uh, time out of their day to record this and provide it for you. We really wish we could meet you in person. But because of the circumstances, we're, we're, we're doing it virtually. Um, I really hope to see you and, uh, next fall at, on campus. You'll see Kyle. Um, uh, I think the rest are waiting. Um, uh, but uh, they're always in touch. Uh, we have a very strong alumni network and a connection. The other thing is um, at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a slide with everybody's email, Santa Clara's email. So if you have questions for anybody in particular about something they did, please reach out, uh, send them an email, and we'll get back to you and answer your questions as best as we can. But I want to thank you all for joining us. Uh, have a wonderful summer. Uh, I hope to see you on the fall, uh, in the fall on campus, and uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.